morning routine is finished and now we're at the gym. I own the lion's den. There's gonna be a gym tour video coming out in the future. Uh, but this is an interesting day because I actually have a cross practice in an hour since we're on spring break uh, for the boys. So I'm gonna get after it and just try to get a solid workout in within 60 minutes. So we got trap bar deadlifts, we got lat pull downs, we got some barbell rows, uh, some shrugs and some rear delt work. I'm just gonna rotate in a circuit fashion so it keeps my heart rate up, gets a ton of volume in, time efficient, and then we're gonna head over to practice and we'll uh, see you guys over on the field then. All right, so this is primarily gonna be a pull day. So that's why I'm doing a trap bar deadlift. I like trap bars, very easy to use, good stimulus. Uh, gets me doing some sort of pulling movement. There's actually a video above where I talk all about the benefits of trap bar. From there, I'm gonna do a vertical uh, pull, which is gonna be the lat pull down. Then I'll move to a horizontal pull, some shrugs, rear delts. Like I said, we're just working around in a circle fashion here. A lot of volume, a lot of stimulus. Get it done as fast as possible. Get out of here. So we're doing uh, the lat pull down, right? Thinking about flexing those triceps at the top, getting a nice full range of motion on the bottom. Then we're doing our dumbbell row, single arm, all of these, because then we're getting a horizontal row. And I actually made a video on technique of how to do these properly. Links above, uh, but I'm looking for 10 to 12 reps for each of those exercises. And then next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna hit some shrugs and uh, some pec deck rear delt flies with a new pec deck in here. All right, so I've kind of changed up the format of my training a bit where I'm focusing on a strength movement, then I have my accessory, but I kind of work on a circuit. The reason I'm doing that is because one, I'm short on time. Two, I need to work on my GPP. So I usually give myself about 30, 40 seconds between exercises uh, and then one to two minutes between sets. Then I'm also throwing in the conditioning component at the end, which varies between low intensity, steady state, and high intensity interval training depending on what the training looks like. And if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see those workouts, uh, how I format them and how I run it, so check it out. So what I'm kind of doing looks like power building, right? 
A lot of people say you can't do it. Some people say you can do it. So really, here's my gist on it. When it comes to power building, you can get away with training both bodybuilding and powerlifting if you're a novice lifter, okay? Once you get into those middle to end state intermediate phases, you really gotta figure out which way you wanna go. If you wanna do bodybuilding or powerlifting. And if you wanna do both, they need to be structured uh, correctly with a phasic approach. So maybe in your off season, if you're a powerlifter, you do bodybuilding for a couple months, then transition back into strength. Or if you're a bodybuilder, off season, do some strength work, then get into bodybuilding. So the more advanced you are, the more you need to make that decision on which routes you wanna take. For me, a couple factors is, I'm not overly concerned with getting super strong right now. If anything, maintaining my strength, I'm okay with maybe going down a little bit. More focused on just getting my training sessions in, doing things I enjoy personally, and working on my conditioning at GPP. So it really comes down to the goals you have. And for me, it makes sense to do this right now. Not to say, once I'm in a better position, uh, my goal changed to more strength training, I'll definitely dive all into that. Or if it's bodybuilding, I can focus on that. Uh, so those are kind of when, when I look at people who are, are power building, what does it necessarily mean and how to do it? That's it. For shrugs, something that really helps me get a great stimulus to the traps is a slight lean over. I just feel like it really lets my arms hang and I can really just get that good mind muscle connection to the traps. Try it out, nothing you can play with is grip with. Some people like to go a smidge wider, some people like to stay pretty much neutral or kind of like arms right at their side, but play around with it, see what works for you. Let's say at the end of the day, I never hear nobody complain about too big of traps, too big a neck. We're all here, out here to get that. So get in what you can and look like a freak. Okay guys, so that was the workout. Give you guys some tips, kind of where I'm at in my training right now, but I am short on time. Gave myself 60 minutes to run through that circuit as many times as I can. Got around four or five sets in. Now I gotta clean up, boogie out of here, and I'll see you guys over at the practice field. All right guys, Coach Joe here just got done at the workout at the gym, and now we're at the Stockton Area High School where I am a lacrosse coach. So I've been doing this for two years now, and originally started as a strength and conditioning coach that my buddy, who I played with lacrosse growing up, or and played against actually too, he brought me on there and then one thing led to another where I started coaching here at the program. Phenomenal group of guys and just a great way to help pass on knowledge, make kids better and just give back to the sport. Uh, so my background is that I was a wrestler, football player and lacrosse player uh, all throughout middle school and high school. And then I went to play college lacrosse for a little bit at Albright College. Uh, so I have the background of the sport, but the game's changed significantly since I've played. It's a lot faster. Uh, just And just trying to play catch up with where everything's been, but it's been such a rewarding experience for me. I love helping out the guys, making them absolute beasts on the field. Uh, so you guys are going to watch some of the practice and get some of the kids' conversation going, so it'll be fun. So let's go.
here at Cross Team. It's a great environment, great uh, energy to everything. Coach Joey's a great coach. He works with the players. He gets down, he talks to everyone, he helps them. He's not too critical, he, but he helps you. He tells you what you need to do better, and he's just really good at encouraging and helping kids inspire to get better. I really think he's a great coach, and the whole experience is just a really good thing for all of us. Hey, I'm Tyson Boy. I'm an athlete here at Satterton Area High School. I play soccer and lacrosse. Um, I've been working with Coach Joe for about two years now, and uh, the, growth I've, the growth I've seen is just so crazy. Um, working in the lion's den and in the gym here at Satterton, and um, the strength and conditioning piece has played so much into my game. I've seen such a big uh, jump in what I've been able to do physically. Um, just being able to back guys down and just beat them off the move and it's shown throughout the whole team It's just we're a lot more physical and work a lot harder on ground balls and that, that's from the strength and conditioning program So um, I think that's really important and I'm definitely going to be going to coach Joe's uh, Athletes program this summer and I just know that there's going to be a bunch of guys there ready to get to work What's up guys here at Soderton High School. Uh, so I've been uh, coaching here, this is my second year. So I'm an assistant coach. I work primarily with the defense. Uh, this is the head coach, Coach Craig. I uh, just figured get him on here. We've known each other for a long time. So we played against each other in high school. We've always been in contact. Uh, he basically hit me up and wanted me to come on board for strength and conditioning. And then that led to me, you know, coaching these guys. Uh, so I just wanted to get him on here, introduce him, and maybe just talk a little bit about the program, kind of our core values, things that we believe in and that we focus on to have a successful season. Yeah, so uh, as like you said, my name is Craig Hunsberger. Um, I've been the head coach here. This is going to be my second year. Um, I joined as an assistant coach in 2018, and um, you know, I've just been working with these guys ever since. Uh, it's just something I love to do. I love to give back to the sport, um, and I think that's the reason why I've kind of have been so invested in this. Um, and like Coach Joe said, I reached out to him when I became head coach um, just to give us a little more structure in programming and things like that and getting our strength and conditioning up to snuff. Um, and then from there it kind of snowballed and and he's now been full time for two years and i couldn't be happier and i you know the boys love him so um it, he also embodies a lot of the core values that i think we've pushed as coaches and in myself and then as coach joe and and our other coaches have pushed on the program so um a lot of those things are like hard work um determination like uh, just overall effort, right? We're, we're just trying to build these kids into future savages, right? Um, and that's a lot of what we build our training around. Um, I, as you can see in our practices, we, we like to bring the intensity, um, get them after each other. Even though we're going against our own players, we like to make sure that we bring the intensity every day in practice um, just to start emulating like those game situations, right? And that helps them build that character, that grit, um, and just, you know, turns them into great young men and in turn better athletes. Yeah, I think just to piggyback off that, a lot of the things that we have with our coaching philosophy also transpire to outside of sports. So everything we teach them on the field applies to, to outside extracurricular, kind of like how we do anything is how we do everything here. I think what makes this program really unique uh, is just that dog mentality that we always preach and that the kids embody of just going out there and let them know 
they're playing Sergeant Lacrosse. Like, without a doubt, no matter what happens on the scoreboard, they know that they showed up and played a hard ass game against the kids that we coach. Uh, so I couldn't be prouder to be a part of this. You know, Craig's fantastic. The other coaches we work with are phenomenal. And kind of just like Craig said, it's just a way for us to give back and try to raise another generation of kids to, to just be absolute monsters and everything they do in life. Uh, so hopefully you guys have been enjoying the footage you see at practice and uh, just kind of a day in the life of, of what I do outside of work is just hang out here and, and be able to give back to these guys. Uh, so thank you so much for the opportunity to do so. Anytime. And uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying what you're seeing. Tyson Boys, um, I got the pleasure to talk about Coach Joe and Coach Craig, uh, two guys that I look up to and inspire to be just like them. Um, I'll start with Coach Joe, someone that I had to give a speech actually last year, and talking about somebody two years in a row can be like really hard because you're like, oh, I'm going to say the same things, but I've actually grown to know him so much better throughout this past year, going to his gym, just hanging out with him just as friends because uh, that's what our coaches are. They're just friends with some people that we are also our coaches at the same time, which makes it great. And that's what makes the season so much fun. Um, but the two things that I've learned most this year about Coach Joe is just his willingness to help. Like there's, there's a couple people in your life where you're just like, they carry the attitude of just naturally, how can I help? What can I do? And I'm sure you guys know people in your life that are also like that. They just carry that attitude all the time. Just what can I do for you? And as a coach, that is just so welcoming and makes it so much easier to go through your daily life when you have somebody where you're like, if I have a question about lacrosse, about working out, about life, I can just go up to him and I can just talk to him. And that just makes it so easy. Um, another thing that I love about Coach Joe is just like his fire to want to learn. Like there's there's some people that like, like to learn, he loves to learn. Just a bunch of new things. Like this year he came up to me in the gym, he's just like, Hey Tyson, can you just like talk through some offensive stuff so I can just get a picture of what you guys are looking at so I can bring it back to the defense and so that we can learn. And like there's some coaches that just wouldn't come up to a player and say that because they're too insecure about what their players might think about their knowledge. But he knows like this is gonna help us. This is gonna make us better. And his ego doesn't get in the way. And he's like, what can I do to help our team? Just coming back to like what I said, just his natural attitude that he carries. I'm so glad to be able to call him my friend. Thank you, Coach Joe. <laughs>